Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. You are the weakest link. Gosh. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> All What's up, you. everybody? Hello. Hi. I don't have to do the Absidy voice right now. You don't have to do the Absidy voice. Dope. Right now. I can talk normal. Yeah. For now. Until for now. we all talk in very different ways very soon. Very I don't soon. like your normal voice. It's mm. gross. All right. Well, hello, everyone. My DM hates me. How are you? <laughs> Great. Let's jump right into the show. No one uh, likes a pass. So, last, uh, I think last series of episodes, the last two, we did our training sessions, the Dusk Elves. Dusk Elves? Yeah, Dusk Elves okay. with Absidy. I'm finally getting it right. I was worried. It's right. only taken 50-some-odd episodes. Uh, the Dusk Elves ran through and did a training Ocean's Eleven, Capture the Flag, Hide and Seek, Tiki fight. And uh, the Berserkers and, and Lycans did a gang up on the Death Knight and then attack their leader. Your gauntlet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what happened. Uh, a lot of character development in a very short span of time in the last episode. So we'll see what ramifications, if there are any, that happen in that. Um, yeah. I mean, other than that, just kind of waiting on you, DM, okay. whenever you're ready. So we all kind of had a very rough night, but we'll uh, we'll pick up from where we kind of did before. Absidy, it's another day. Sun starts coming up. Wizard Rooster Steve is like, it's morning, dudes. And... It's that familiar, you go back into that routine, you slowly start getting up. Irina is already awake. She's been kind of like staring, it looks like, at the ceiling as you kind of roll over to get ready to for your day. Hey. Oh. What, what are you thinking about? Nothing. I just had the nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry. And I give her a little kiss on the forehead. And she smiles warmly. Another day of training. Yep. We're down to the wire. It's getting closer. Two days. Two days. We're gonna make it through. We will. You see her smile. It's that sad, kind of like assuring, but unknowing smile. That you've grown, grown accustomed to. Every kind of positive thing you've kind of said has always had this hint to this shroud of uneasiness. But. Let's let's do something tonight. What do you prefer? Do you want to go to the bowling alley again? <laughs> no, I'm not very good at that. They don't have a small enough ball for me. Which you would be surprised because Steve is smaller than you. You'd think so. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe he has one. Is he playing? He's being a dick. I don't think he knows how to be a dick. I think you're right. I think he's just stupid. He's just doing his best. But we should do something. Okay. Like, this isn't our last night, but let's do something. Okay. We go, perhaps, maybe dancing? I mean, I have two left feet, but... I'll show you the, the steps. That'd be great. Okay. It's a date. Like a little little butterflies, a little giddy. So they start flapping and she goes, I'm gonna go get some let us a little bit more and see what the is mark is up to. Okay. Alright, I see you later. Mwah. Mwah. So you kinda get up, <clears throat> put on your, your regular clothes, you're getting ready for for breakfast, you standing outside the, the doorway again? No, I'm just wondering if there has been fallout from the rock that I sent Irina with Casimir. If she's talked to Absidy about it or what the dizzle is with that. Never really asked her. Okay. Unless you've, you've been like, hey, what's up with the rock? No, we, I haven't. You can ruin a date. <laughs> Definitely not going to do that. You can do it later. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> um, okay. And then Thok, you, uh, you wake up. Uh, are you still in your little kiosk in the... Behind the Wetzel's pretzels. Yeah. You kind of wake up and you see everyone slowly start coming in. Rufio, you do the same. You've been waking up. Uh, and then Shart, which we'll, we'll go into a little bit later off camera. You kind of wake up and you're kind of nodding from the, the dream that kind of came to you. And you just replaying all the events that happened within the last 12 hours or so. Mm -hmm. Kind of get up. You go to your designated meeting area where the four of you 
convey and meet, and you start going to breakfast. It's pretty quiet, <clears throat> somber. Obviously, these two saw what was going on. Absidy, I don't know if you've heard. You can kind of discuss that at your leisure as you guys kind of go to breakfast. So <clears throat> how'd the training session go yesterday? <laughs> Could have gone better. Could've Shart gone better. attacked one of his group. You attacked one? Yeah, I let my pride get the best of me, and I wasn't <clears throat> I wasn't showcasing how to be a good leader. After all the times you've come at me to tell me how I wasn't being a good leader and how I need to do this better and that better, you turned around and hit someone who you want to now follow you into battle. And Shart, let me ask you this question. Who had to fix the mess that you made? I, I understand that, all right? I apologized about that. Apologies only get you so far. I know, I know, and I appreciate that. I never wanted to be a leader. I think you kind of had to be in this situation. I know. I'm not built for it. I never have been. I'm trying to learn on the go. I'm sorry that I made comments to you about how you should be a better leader. I shouldn't have. I don't have the fucking knowledge for it. Let's be realistic. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm trying. Fucked up. I appreciate your help. But I also don't really appreciate the third degree that I'm getting right now. I'm still trying to figure out how to be as good at this as I can be. I just want my brother back. Let's start by not hitting members of our team. Yeah, I know that. Hey, unless they're absidy. I've done that a whole bunch of times. That's fine. We've seen He's pretty work. resilient. Not trying to pick sides, but we should probably talk to the werewolves about that, too, because they were the ones that turned on them, too. That turned on who? The werewolves. Uh, one of the werewolves attacked Shart in the battle. Oh, yeah. the same one that you punched? No, a different one. <laughs> What the fuck did <laughs> what happened in your training session? It was a learning a learning process. <sighs> okay. If if their training session is to be believed, though, Absidy. The thing they're gonna fight, the thing that's outside Vin's cage, is nasty. Yeah, there's There's a chance that this is the last you guys see of me. What? Absidy. He took out a sword, hit Shart once, and he went down. Yeah. And but but you have everyone. You have the berserkers and you have the werewolves. It it didn't matter. He's he's strong. And I take a moment and I just I sit and I think Okay. Very strong. This could be the last we really get to see of each other. Well, no matter what happens, you guys are always going to be a part of my pack now. I mean that. You guys are like... Hit us? Is that a thing? (laughs) Shut the fuck up. What I'm saying is you guys are like brothers to me. It's been a hell of a journey getting through this shithole. I'm happy I did it with you guys. Here, here. Do we have drinks? Are we at breakfast? Steve's just kind of been like, and your stuff is kind of, so yeah, you have drinks. Okay, then I take the drink up. and <laughs> To the group. To the group. So, as you guys kind of are coming up with talking and somber, actual wizard Steve kind of gets a little stool and he's like, So, I'm getting closer, my dudes. Closer to your big day. Day after tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so good hot with the numbers and such, Doc. Yes, Doc. Do you, do you know how you're going to get into the castle? Walk in. Well, I know that, but you got your your different missions that you're doing. I'm assuming now all of you are gonna be walking in, or those other guys went and been going through the forest. One of us 
This DM out of game. Sure. Uh, one of us got a map of at least one level of Ravenloft. Who was it again? Was that you? I believe it was me because you, was you you rolled poorly on your it. so you got crayon drawings yes and i at least i rolled better so i at least got a detailed crayon drawing. of one of the layers one of the layers so of the castle that's why i was wondering which layer was it roll a d4 oh this is short sorry thank god for recapping <laughs> watching the recaps yeah three so you got the the second story of it so you got um just the different rooms that it doesn't look like it's the the dungeon or the catacombs or anything like that but mm -hmm. you see two staircases that seem to be adjacent to each other that looks like they go down and up okay so it doesn't look like there's a way in from doesn't, that level doesn't really help us much no this fee uh, do you know of another way to get in to the dungeons and the catacombs. I don't know. Let me see. And you see him and he kind of just starts rubbing his hands and he puts on the table this like doll sized house of the castle. And he goes, eh. You see him flick away and it has the catacomb in the dungeon area. And he goes, so it looks like there's a few ways in, mostly through the entry point, but there are two. And he pulls out a laser pointer. You have like here and what here. What is that? Oh, it's just like a pointing thing. So just follow the red dot. So you got it. It's <laughs> <laughs> Rufio and Epsi are cats confirmed. Um, We're the ones with an intelligence of eight. So you got like, <laughs> that's the funny part. This and this, and then you see him put another layer on. And all right, this is where you enter, and it's got still those two. And you see him flip again, and those two stairways are constant. And he puts on the roof, and you see there are two spires on the top of Castle Ravenloft. And he goes, it looks like you have to go through the spires and then walk all the way down. We have to get all the way up to go down? Uh, I mean, I can see if I can teleport you on the roof, but it might be a little wordy. A little what? A little what? Oh, uh, sorry, my accent. It might be like gushes of wormed or something. Wormed? Yeah, wand. I never noticed your accent before, Doc. Is that what the far said? Like, oh, wind. windy. Yeah, warndy. Warndy. Like the far said, just like that. I never noticed you. That's that accent. Are you trying? You trying to say force it? Say it with me. Force it. Force it. No, you're not getting it. <laughs> never mind. So you can you can transport those groups to. The top of the, the spire. top of the spire, and then they can go down opposite spires. How far? How far down do the dusk elves go? Like how many levels would they go down? It looks like you kind of go in in the same direction, just opposite ways. What does that mean? I think what he's implying is that the way that it's laid out, the bottom layer is both the catacombs and the dungeon. The dusk elves. They're just on opposite sides. So he kind of splits it. And you see that um, if there was a line down the middle here, this is where it looks like your elf guys are going, and this is where you look like your other guys are going. So you're going to be on the same level. It just looks like there's this big roll in the middle. So, hey, uh, and there's the two entry points, it looks like here. So is it safe to say that if we drop one group on this spire, it'll be on this side of the castle, and that spire on that side of the castle? Correct. Do we know which side is which? Yeah, I can figure it out. Have you met Trev yet? No, I have not. You should you should meet Trev. Yeah, right. Make sure you make some time. You guys would get along. Yeah, okay. I got new video games coming in. So which side is which? So, catacombs, uh, dungeon. Stage right, stage left? Stage right, stage left. Don't worry, I won't pull a wizard's Eve and make you guys go to the dungeon and make them go <laughs> like to the catacombs. Switch. Oh shit! Flip up! Fuck! We're fighting a death knight. Ah! Elves, <laughs> Valiant, no! <laughs> uh, it was nice knowing you, Trev. <laughs> yeah. So, so the plan is what? In about two days, we're gonna teleport over to the rendezvous point right outside of Castle Ravenloft. Um, and you guys do the old switcheroony dooney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It needs to be. This needs to happen at the same time, though. Dinner needs to be a distraction, and you guys need to be as stealthy as you can for as long as you can. Because if 
Strahd thinks anything is up, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, you'll die. Steve knows what's going to happen. Yeah. I think you were trying to not say that. (laughs) Why? I was. Death Uh, is a perfect part of life. Right, Doc? I'm going to keep... Sore subject. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going to keep my potion of invulnerability on my belt, and if I can down it before the fight so I can stay up a little longer... Hopefully for reinforcements, I'm going to slip it in. Your I drink. think you guys have that as well. Yep. Steve, we got potions of invulnerability wizard. from somewhere. I don't remember that happening at all. I think it was, it was a while in back. The, yeah. Shoot, baby boy. Um, That's my inventory. Can you watch us while we're over there? Oh, that's like, like naughty. I can't do that. No, but if we give you permission to keep an eye on us as we're walking into the castle, and then once we walk in and sit for dinner, you can teleport the other groups. Like, not all of us at once. Yeah, I could do that. I just can't really, like, interfere. Like, I don't want to go in this no, no, guy's no, no, house. No. Once again, Blake 182 is in, like, my jeans. I'm, <laughs> I'm not asking for interference, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. if we give you potentially like a key term of when Rufio and I sit down for dinner go ahead and teleport the other two groups in yeah we can do that we can do okay so what if we that way we're not all at once we're at the front door they're already up there we have to distract them at once like yeah it gives them a little bit of a buffer but then you guys have to move fast we will any idea how long a dinner normally takes with Strahd depends on how many course meals he decides to have honestly all we have to do is get him to talk about himself, and we'll be there for a while. Do you have points of dinner conversation? You see him pull out cards. I I think we'll be okay. Just flick. I no mean, cards. Take, take the cards. Just one. Just one. Yeah, why not? You never know. Hold on, I'm gonna write something on it. <laughs> it could come in handy. Keep talking, though. Like, what's the weather like up there? Or... <laughs> so, how long have you been a douchebag? I mean... <laughs> Uh, I'll give you the card later. Okay. It's a blank card that you get. It's like, and then right at the right moment, it's going to give you that question. It's going to be burn, a burning question. You know what? Give me two. Two burning questions? All right. I like. I want to make them think. You know what I'm saying? I could be like, did you miss your ram? Oh, shit. Oh, balls. Oh. So sad. <laughs> Uh, I'll be disguised by then. It's outside a game, what's the potion that we have? We got a potion of invulner- in vulner- invulnerability from That's one of one the of one of the dungeon things we did. Uh, we got three of them. Yeah, there's a chance you never added it. Yeah, I was I gonna say because I, I didn't add mine. I don't have it in my inventory. This is pre thought. Pre thought. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a while ago. It wasn't. Was it wasn't ago. an inventory thing. We got cards. Oh, okay. Oh, that true. means there was only one card, and you had the card. No, because it says one uh, potion of vulnerability. We had multiple, and Josh handed them to all of us. Mm-hmm. I had three. I don't know where my card is. I lost all my cards. Gotcha. So, isn't it in your? No, this uh, is the only one I have. Is, is the one? We can just write that same which... down. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I I think honestly, if one of you is willing, should give it to Thok, just because we're going to be in the line of fire with Strahd for a little bit. I don't think I need it as much, though. It would be really helpful. And we need you to stay up more importantly than anyone, because another thing you guys need to keep in mind, something I think we should all do, is take 300 gold pieces, put it in a satchel, and tie it to your belt in case you fall. Thok can bring us back. But Thok needs to be alive in order to bring us back. And I pull already done I gave one to dirt also I appreciate that already ready to go hmm I steal two cards from you okay just a thought <laughs> you guys don't want to just a thought is just dirt a thought. is dirt going to the dinner I don't believe so him and I had a talk so where is he going He's going with you. With me? Yeah. I... Are you sure? Something tells me he needs the Sun Sword. Okay. I... I'll watch him. Please. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know much about religion, but... 
as far as gods and stuff go, that sounds like it makes sense to me, actually. It makes sense to Shard. It, it, I think it needs to happen. <laughs> Mini Bash Bros. Eh. Gaka. So, I missed that kid. do you guys want to potentially offer up Thok a potion? Or are you guys going to keep him for you? Or what's the consensus? As I'm going to... While I'm talking, I'm putting 300 gold into a, into yeah. a pouch and stuff, and I'm going to tie okay. it off to my belt. I'm just counting it out. So add your life line to your inventory, whatever you want to call it. I just have it as money. Yeah. Just take <laughs> your 300 away. There you go. Good good job. Oh, dope. Good job, Thork. Again, to be honest with you, I think I'll be fine. I can always, like, if I go down, Relentless Endurance is not going to let me pass zero. I'm and just saying, I go yeah, down, the people that we're going to be, up, though, just I pop back up, the people we're going to be with aren't these guys. I know. The people so, that we're going to be with are different people. Yes. So, I don't know how much collective damage we're going to be able to do, and I think keeping us up is going to be a priority. As much as I'd love to, for the betterment of the team, if we're going to defeat Strahd, it's going to have to come down to you and I being alive I mean, it's your decision I mean it's not it's their decision I mean, it's, yeah, they're the ones with the potions the if, we, thought- if, if we had a vote I would say I don't need it but if I'll take with whatever the group decides quick what what is our plan after Shard and I complete our missions get to dinner as soon as possible but we have to come at the same time right Honestly, because if if I finish, if we finish the Sun Sword first, and we get there, that kind of tips Strahd off to to Dirt or to uh, Shart. We need to be able to communicate with each other, and I don't know how to. I have a question. Yeah. What was that thing that uh, the Death Knight that you made me make? Yeah. That was pretty tough. Yeah. Would it be helpful if you had more people with you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. If you two make it, and you guys defeat the Death Knight, then you don't have to worry about communicating with each other. And he shows you the pathways. There are two pathways to each other. So if you try to stagger it, and you find the Sun Sword first, and then you go over to the Death Knight one? You could have more people fighting with us. I just had a stroke. What happened? <laughs> we could have more people fighting with us, is what you're saying. Did I say that? Yeah, you said that, dude. Hey, Andrea. I just can't get a read on you. Yeah, it's, I'm hard to read. Only thing I was going to say that worries me with the potion of invulnerability is that you guys saw that Death Knight fight. The trial run of it. Something like that could re- really be a matter of life and death for me. But if I know that Dirt and Absidy and the Dusk Elves could possibly come in and assist the Berserkers and the where and the, and the Lycans with us. It gives us a better shot. So, with the Sun Sword, do we have to eliminate everything in there? Like, what are the potentials of sneaking in, taking the sword, and getting out unnoticed? That's the game plan. That was the whole that's, point that's that you the, guys. That's yeah. the whole point, right? I mean, I've I've seen like the Dusk Elves, and they're. They're sneaky. And they're they're quick. W- they're quick. We haven't really gotten to see your training stuff. How did that go? Uh, one of the Dusk Elves snuck away and won at the last minute. We had to grab four totems. Did I tell you guys what no. the training was? So we had four totems, and we had to collect all of them and then get to the center circle. And uh, two of them were downed and popped back up. Um, resilient. The resilient. And I had three of the totems in the last minute. One of them took all three, popped right into the circle. He's a bit pretentious, but he's good. I, I'm not worried about us stealthing in. Okay. I think we can make it to Shart. You're that confident in their ability? As confident as I can be. Are they like you level sneaky? Yeah. Really? Dude, I am re- now not worried about Absidy at all. <laughs> real, real, real quick, do I do I know about the the what was what's the the spell that he has that uh, uh, passes out, out of trace? trace? Yeah, do I know about that? 
No. No, okay. he never explained it to you. Okay. So I just... You just thought they're I, super sneaky? I don't know how he did it, but I, <laughs> I couldn't see him. Make a arcana check. Warlocks. Twelve. You know it was magical in nature. You just didn't know what he did. He, okay. You, from what you've seen, I mean, you know Casimir's a spellcaster. All of them had some relative spellcasting abilities or able to go into the shadows. Um, so you know it's magic in nature. It's not natural. You don't know if it's like a dusk elf thing or it's just like a magic thing. Okay. Yeah, some sort of magical shroud. <clears throat> if If you run into any trouble, can they stand their own? Can they hold their own? Like, can they fight? They're strong. They're strong? Okay. So they're quick, and they're strong. They could be stronger, but as long as we I mean, stay in the shadows, I am I think we have a good chance. Is, okay. Sneaky for you is big, and if they're sneakier than you, I like your chances. I wouldn't say sneakier. As sneaky as you. Thank you. <laughs> no, they're pretty sneaky, dude. Bartender Steve told me. What did he tell you? He said that one dude was just like, boom. Like, you didn't see him, like, the whole time. And he he was right next to him. Right next to me? That's no, a- right next to Bartender Steve. Did oh, you? I saw Bartender Steve. Yeah, but he didn't see the dude that was next to him. There was a dude next to him? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it was the dude who won. He was there? Yeah. He was hiding behind the bar. I should have looked behind the bar. Oh, they're always look behind, behind the bar. The bar. <laughs> this is what happens when I stop drinking. I know, right? Dude, because one of them st- didn't one of them steal Shard's necklace? Like, that is out of game. Like, oh, yeah. So, do yeah. I notice that Shard doesn't have his necklace? Does Shard notice he doesn't have his necklace? You might have been distracted. You might not notice your necklace. Yeah. But you have the necklace. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way. I'll be like, where's your necklace? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, actually. No, no, no. I'll just be like, speaking of, where's your necklace? Oh. You're gonna sneaky. And I reach into my pocket. One of my guys took that. So you got it back now. So they're sneaky. They're really sneaky. And I look around for all my shit, making sure that everything's there. You're missing ten gold. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck. Pupil looks for the scythe up. and just bamps it and he's like, yeah. Yeah, and then you are puts missing a hand axe. Ah no. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Oh yeah. And I give them back their <laughs> items. Okay. <laughs> It was part right. of the training. Well, you seem to have a good handle in your group. Do you... Would you be comfortable offering up your potion to Thok? My worry is if now we're also going for the Death Knight? If you are if you stand in the back and crossbow, i have not that concerned. Sneak attack for you is where you kind of make your money. And you have your puppies. If you stay kind of ranged... I think you'd be okay. I don't think I can risk it. Not with dirt here, too. I just... It's Strahd, guys. This is why we're here. Are you sure? Like, I'm fine. If you're sure. You can take it. If I know that there's a chance I can have them come in and help me. Okay. The thing is... I don't think you've actually seen Strahd, have you? I have. Once before I met you guys. How you fought him? I, yeah, that's the I, thing is... I fought Sangzor, which I'm wearing around my neck now. Well, no, we know that you fought the Ram. But I didn't fight him. I watched Rufio throw everything he had at him. Everything. He couldn't even touch him. I didn't hit him once. You're going to be in the same room as him. I know that there's a chance I get back up. You might not. You need it. Okay. All right. If, if you think that's, that's what's best, what then... It? The, it is what's best. The potion of invulnerability. Oh, okay. So we have the plan? It's the best plan we got. <laughs> Uh, wizard. Yeah. Wizard Steve. Oh, uh, you can just call me Wizard. Hey, Wizard. What's up? How are those kids coming along? Oh, the vampire kids? Yeah. Yeah, no, I made a whole bunch. What's inside of them? I have them up here. You would ask what's in them. <laughs> um. Fuck. And we can just add it all 
yeah. off camera. But. You can do it on the D&D Beyond. The vampire kits are there. Oh, it's an so actual sick. thing? Yeah, okay. it's a physical thing. Do you want us to add it now? Or? Yeah, just add it I'm, I'm going to wait because it's... I just hate messing around with it too much because then I just zone Lose in. Focus. Yeah. Okay, the nice um, keep talking. Though. Well, speaking of fighting Strahd, you're right. I haven't fought Strahd. There it is. Monster Hunter. So, man. like, should we think of a plan... If we get into battle, I mean, we're gonna get into battle with him. How, how are we going to contact you guys? Oh, sorry. the The Monster Hunter pack uh, is a a chest, a crowbar, a hammer, three wooden stakes, a holy symbol, which will be the symbol of the Thunder, a, a flask of holy water, uh, three sets of manacles, a steel mirror, and a flask of oil, a tinder box, and three torches. So it's called a hunter hunt monster. It's a monster hunter's pack. Found it. Um. So your werewolves, your dusk elves, and you guys have it. So you each have a three. Three of you have a set of it. Cool. Ten four. Or two. Um, whatever. So cool. can, I guess out of game, can Dirt send multiple messages that are waiting responses? What do you mean? So could he, like, he, could he send, send a message it? to Rufio that says you can respond to this, but also send a message to Shart and say you can respond to this? Or no. It, it's only one at be, a time. They would be more, yeah. It wouldn't be one at a time. It would. It wouldn't be at like a, a mass email kind of thing. Wizard. No, but I mean oh. having two separate casts. So at the beginning, he could say, uh, "Rufio, let me know when, if anything happens." And then he could yeah, but I'm be separately sitting. He would have dinner. to say it out loud. Yeah, I'd have to respond to him. He'd have to be loud. like now. Yeah, I mean, if if shit's already going down, you would say that. That's fair. Yeah, but if shit's already going down, then you guys should just sh come in. But we'd have to know. I, I mean, see where just I see where Josh is. Show up. <laughs> how are we gonna? If how is he gonna if, know things are going down? I mean, go up the stairs and listen. Like stealth. That's but what that's you, after. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but you guys, if you're going on your mission. Don't worry about dinner. Like, what? By the time you let's say you're halfway, if you're then have to turn around and come back and then still go up, like you, message, you might as well go get what you need. Message also has to be within range. We've been kind of doing sending. Okay. No. Sending has no range. As long as you're in the same plane of existence, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, in game, I'm going to go to Wizard. Wizard, I know you have helped so much. Uh, it has been exhausting, but I am more than happy to assist. <laughs> we appreciate everything you've done. Oh, well, that's a and first. You, you, have, you have gained a friend in me. Um, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Wizard. Um, I'd hate to burden you and ask you for one more thing, if it's possible. If not... I totally understand. Let's find out. Um, when I used to travel with my old companions, we had stones that we can talk into and everybody else could hear. Hmm. Have you ever heard of such things or is this something that you can concoct? Like we... I've heard of some very long ago when a few adventurers beat a hydra. They had these speaking... I, can kind of, I might be able to meander something. Do you think so? In the next 12 to 24 hours? I mean, if I drop everything else, I'm not really doing nothing else because I finished your packs. Uh, your armor, it's a bunch of pillows. <laughs> oh. But it's quiet as a mouse. Except for the slippers, they squeak. Like a mouse. Like a mouse, yeah. Uh, does it affect my ability to be hit? Is it just actually pillows? It's actually pillows. Great. I will take it and leave it here, pick it up when I come back. It's going to be comfy. It's going to be so great. I'm so excited. You can take a nap like standing up against a wall. A, a what? A, a wall? Water. The water? No, a wall. The water. The wool. Oh, Thanks. wool. Got it. No. Wool. Wall. Wall. A wall. 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 You got to remember, I, I think I've caught on that his L's and R's don't really make sense. These guys got like an intelligence modifier of like six. What? I don't know. Steve's gonna get up <laughs> and he's gonna start doing his Steve thing. Um, anything you guys are doing for the rest of the day? So th that'll potentially help with that. Help with that. We need to step away, use the restroom. I did have a question. I was trying to ask you, mm -hmm. um, without actually asking you because they were in the middle of stuff. <clears throat> Part one of the things that can be done with scrying. Mm -hmm. Instead of targeting a creature, you can choose a location that you've seen before as the target of the spell. You Through those books that Steve has shown us, mm -hmm. would we be able to gather what the location of the Sun Sword is, and would I be able to cast on that? No. Okay. 
because that would give us an idea. I wanted to try and see if that's a possibility. That's fair. Because that would give us an idea of what's guarding it. It'd give you a, like an indication. That's fair. So that's why I wanted to see. But if you said that, that that's that's a no fly zone, then I understand. Correct. Gotcha. Got it. Excuse me. Okay. Anything else you're doing on day twenty eight? Was that like a? He's looking into it. By the way, I didn't get like clear. He's gonna make him. All okay. right. R- real quick. So, oh, so we're doing the stones. Send- you have to talk. They're into sending them, right? stones. Yeah, like yeah, they. But you kind of blip. Uh, I the- we did me- necklaces. So did you- he's, okay. he's probably gonna do necklaces where you touch and you're like, okay, we're doing this, and then everyone hears it in their head. Okay. So it's like a walkie-talkie, this- but like via necklace into your head, mm-hmm. yeah, without it being out loud. Oh, okay. It's so, all okay. Men- so it's telepathic. Mental. Yeah, it's telepathic, but you do have to physically respond. Oh, you have to go, okay, yep. Out loud or in your head? Out loud. <laughs> okay. But Don't want to make it too OP. But the send is telepathic. Yeah. Okay. The reply is out well, loud. Well, so if I was going to send you a message, it'd be like, Josh, I'm coming over. I'm saying it out loud. And in your so, head, you would hear Josh, I'm coming over. To respond to me, you'd blip and then have to speak out loud. Okay, so you talking. receive it telepathically. You receive you telepathically, you send out loud. 10 4. Okay. And they're about a mile radius. Okay. Thankfully, I don't think the castle's that big. I hope not. <laughs> Catacombs. <Just laughs> this is a mile big. Um, so it's a mile high. It's a mile high club, Eight. if you will. Um, not for Irina. Oh, huh? she didn't have sex in it. You don't know that. Not with Strahd. Anyway, because <laughs> she's twelve. She was twelve. Um, Ooh! Gross. Um, so the rest of the day is kind of <laughs> you preparing. Never got You're a pervert. <laughs> it's kind of preparing, and um, I don't know if you decided to have kind of like as a group because you're having your your kind of time with Irina. I don't know if you've decided as a group to have like a last kind of like night together. Um, I don't know if that would be something you would do. Probably uh, not. We'll I move. think that would be too chummy. No, I, Rufio is in the is trying to stay in the mindset that like this isn't it. He knows that it could be, but is like we're gonna get out of this. Yeah, and I think I- the. Sorry, and I was gonna say I think Strahd's or uh, Shart's mindset is that he wants to do everything he can to work with his troops to make sure we're on the same page. Okay. He also wants to be around them as much as possible because he knows that Vin smelt me on Absidy mm-hmm. and left him alone. Mm-hmm. He wants to make sure that the people that are fighting with him smell like Shart, mm-hmm. so that way. They, he understands that those people are people that he shouldn't go that after. That they trust. With. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I mean, well, I'll just throw it to Tibble and Chesgoff real quick. I mean, you would understand pack tactics like that. He never explained that his brother's a fucking wolf until just now. No, I did during Have the you? battle. I said, during the battle. my brother's a dire wolf that's locked okay. up and has a necklace and is missing an ear. Okay. And that's so then, who we're trying to rescue. Then them. you understand, like, to an extent of a pack tactics that scent is a big play in it. So, begrudgingly, because you did get your orders from Rufio, you would try to scent up a little bit, and, you know... You smell just want like disgusting You work. just want to fuck shit up. Smell like disgusting You're ready to work. fucking... Like, you killed that thing once, you're gonna kill it you're again. ready to do it again. Exactly. I want you to. <clears throat> uh, what else are we doing before the, the, the dance? What? What are we doing before the dance? Uh, Rufio's gonna be in his room, uh, trying to pray to whore, Mm -hmm. and, uh, trying to hear from the Raven Queen, and, uh, just working with the scythe, because he remembers, like, with the Claymore, how he had a hard time hitting Strahd, so he's just doing different shit with the scythe, trying to... So, while you're concentrating on whore, roll a religion check for me. Religion. Is everyone gonna try to talk to their adjacent thing? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's do it. 18... 18, you kind of feel that push. You, you're you very familiar with it, and you just let your mind go blank. And you're kind of up, and it's, uh, you're kind of in where you originally were. It's that white room. And Thor's kind of, or Thor, wow. <laughs> Thor is, uh, Chris Hemsworth. How did you get here? <gasps> yeah. He's, He's so very handsome. He's so <laughs> handsome. He's so pretty. Thor is kind of just sitting there, and he goes, you're getting close, kid. Yeah. It's uh, a little nerve-wracking, but this is what we have wanted. 
it's hard to be upset. That's fair. Do you have any uh, words of wisdom? Besides don't die? Nope. That's what I was looking for. (laughs) All right, kid. What's next? What happens after this? Well, depends. A lot of shit going down in Shadowfell. I know you're trying to reach out to your patron. Your powers are still working, so... I think she's still trying to hang on to at least give her followers something to hold on to, but she's in hiding. Very hard to find her. How do we help? We get through this. This is your big test. I want to fight for her. You fight for her, but you fight for you. She promised me something, so... Yeah. I'm sure she did, so... She might be holding on just to do that. I'd rather put her off if we can... Keep her... A little longer. I'll try to relay the message. I've been checking up on your boy. Yeah. Kid's getting tough. He's a tough kid. Some... There's some... It's come a long way. Some off about him. Good way. Good way. Okay. I was worried. <laughs> I've seen it before, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Do you think uh, we can pull this off? 20% chance. Better than 10? love being an underdog I know you do and I'll close my eyes Mm -hmm. and you feel that burning of horror and you just it's like you just did a whole shit ton of pre-workout like you're ready to (laughs) fucking party punch a wall like a man Uh, (laughs) fucking wall (laughs) and it immediately just goes back and patches itself back up Um, then we'll move over to who wants to be next Oh, I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven? So. <laughs> I rolled a seven. So you... You breathe in. And your your mind goes blank. You start feeling the buff of the sand hitting your face. And before, while you've been inside the pyramid, you're kind of far away from it. And you can see the trek towards the giant temple to Anubis. And it's different from your world. Where the sand, where you're from, is... Um, beige and kind of deep oranges. You look at the sand here and you kind of scoop and it looks to be ruby quartz. Very finely just grained sand. And you look up in the sun and you see two suns in the sky, which you are not familiar with. And the slow trek goes back to the Temple of Anubis. And inside you you are greeted by the familiar uh, pose of, and the figure of Anubis in his very nice black suit, sitting on his throne, eyeing you. And... My cleric, welcome back. Good to be back. So, this is it. Yes. You brought me back for a reason. I did. I'm assuming this is the reason. It is not. But it's not. No reason. Before meeting here, Thok, I had no knowledge of you. You see, there are multiple universes, dimension. Your original Anubis, my counterpart, brought you for his own purpose. Perhaps it was in conjunction with mine. This is not your reason for being back, though this is a loose end on my part. When the time comes, call upon me, and I will do what must be done. Alright. Will I know when that time comes? I hope so. So do I. And as you see that, the face kind of morphs slightly jackal-like as he 
we're getting closer. Fuck. She's getting weaker. And you're getting stronger. I am. And we get what's rightfully mine. Never... Never risk yourself for love. Trust me. That's the last thing on my mind. I know. You're a good man, Thok. When you're done, I will come back. Okay. Give you your next mission, your true mission. And as he says that, <sighs> kind of come back, and you see all of your candles and incense are just burned down. And when you started, you it was maybe about morning. It's now almost midday dusk, and that quick interaction to the outside would have been just you sitting there meditating for hours. And for me, it was just like a few minutes. It was a few seconds. Few seconds. A few minutes, yeah, you trekked. Um, and what's happening tonight, the dance? It's his like little dance thing. Right. Um, so after that, I would have probably gone to a mirror, mm -hmm. and since it's potentially all of our last nights or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take off my armor and get comfy, and one last time, I'm just gonna change myself into what I looked like before, mm -hmm. and nicely dressed, yeah, and just stay like that for the rest of the night. Okay. So, are you gonna stay in your room the rest of the night? No, go like out I'll night? go out, but I'll go looking normal okay like not dead not dead we'll move on to sharp okay so what are you doing um you're gonna try to talk to whatever was in the cage yeah i want to get more and get more answers i feel like i'm lost on everything right now okay go ahead and roll a con save or wisdom save because yours is not religion <laughs> yeah con <laughs> would have been so much better for me uh, 13 13 you kind of go to that place you hear the crickets and you open your eyes and it's night and you hear within the forest <sighs> and as you go in you see that image of yourself with the one eye patch red creeping up this these arms and you see no marks of Vin or Paul. Like, you have your necklaces, you have your... And this thing is just completely savage. It looks... <laughs> have you thought about what I have to offer? Is what you have to offer me not saving my brother? You are half orc. Orcs run with tribe. You run with your own. I am running with my own. I'm saving my own. That's why you fall. Sh allow me to show you what you could be. Weak. And ksh, ksh, turns its back on you. Good. I don't want to know anyways. You know why? Because I've had a pack. I've always had a pack. You know what orc life has done for me? Nothing. The orcs abandoned me. They didn't want me. Because you are half orc. You are weak. Yeah. I could be. But you know what? I have a group. A pack. That cared for me. Attached with me. Helped me. You've never done anything. For now. And you wake up and you, poof, you throw your fist into the dirt and the grit. Absidy, are you going to try to talk to Lucy? Lucy. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of, you've been kind of shunning him this whole time. Because you know you've been with Irina, you've been focused on this and then on that. And you see everyone kind of going to their respective place like, I'm going to go talk to Thor. Yeah, Anubis hasn't heard from me in a while. Shart's going to do shart things. Go ahead, roll a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a religion check. Religion Liz check? Do Yeah, do a religion check. Seven. Seven. After a while of sitting and meditating, you start smelling 
the sulfur of the inferno and you see back on his throne Hello again, old friend. Absidy Longshire. What is it you want? We're coming down to the wire. It's we're about to raid Strahd's castle. Do you have guidance? Any information? Any new powers you can give me? No. If you cannot move and use the powers I have given you, you don't deserve them. I have used them. If you can't defeat him with those, why do you deserve more? Okay. I've been watching. 28 days I've been watching. Your men do not respect you. Your team does not respect you. Your heart betrays you. Is it Northshire or Longshire? Longshire. Your heart betrays you, Longshire. You've allowed love to cloud judgment. Focus. I am focused. But focus and love are not two separate things. Yes. I love Irina, and I love my group. And I will fight to protect all of them. The Paladin. Rufio? I do not trust him. Follower of the Raven Queen. Follower of Whor. Holy Avenger. What makes you think the minute he doesn't strike down this... Strahd... That you're next? I have my eye on him. I've been your eyes. You are focused on other things. Focus on your task. Keep yourself safe. When the time comes, I will come to you. And we move on to the next step. But first, you kill this whatever, and you come back to the realm. What's the next step? No point in telling you if you die. Maybe a little bit of motivation? You get picked up by the Raven Queen and you squall all of my plans to the bitch. You want me to go to the Raven Queen? If you die, you get picked up. Mm. A Reaper grabs your body and transports you right over to her. I guess it's best that I don't die then. It is. And I'll just... Can I pull myself out? Like He can sense that you're ready to go, and you... Yeah, you kind of shake. <sighs> <sighs> Fucking dick. <laughs> so, as the night starts to... To come to... Yes, uh, Rufio would like to run into Shart at some point. Uh, I can transfer inspiration, can I? Um, I'm going to give him my inspiration. Okay. So you could do it at, like, the dance at the party. Yeah, that's what I would figure I would do. So we'll get we'll get to the party. Okay. So it's kind of a... It's, it's kind of a marble round room. There's columns and pillars. And um, everything is fairly nice and, and simple. Um, there's kind of, like, these different elemental, like band players they're playing different kinds of music and it's it's actually very quite pleasant it looks like steve doesn't know a lot but he knows fancy 
Uh, and honestly, Wizard Steve's nowhere to be found. He figured that you probably wanted to all have your alone time. It seemed that it's you, you four, and um, Irina. And there's drinks. There's waiters that come out that are not Steve. They're very... They're non-talkative. They just kind of come over. You're like champagne and... Champagne, they move on. They float. Fancy. Much bigger than I was expecting. Much less people than I was expecting. See you fuckers all the time. Uh, the... <laughs> Three of you roll perception checks. Eleven. Ten. Nineteen. Three of you notice that Doc looks different. You look fancy. He's colored in his cheeks. You look... Alive. Yeah. I figured if it's the last, potentially, the last night, we're ever going to be here, why not do what feels comfortable to me? Can I ask you a question? Hmm. Can I see your side? Yeah. Like, no, look. Like, I mean, are your I mean, scars missing? Yeah, his disguise self, so I make it look like they're not there. Is this what you looked like before you died? Yeah. Fuck, man. Do you miss this you? A part of me does. Like, I don't regret things that have happened just because it is the normal order of life, but I remember who I used to be, and I, I kind of miss it. I'll, uh, Rufio's signal over to a, a waiter yeah. to bring over drinks, and everyone will grab a drink. I mean, I'll have a drink as well, because... And it's, uh... To, to Thok. He joined the party late, but he's quickly become a very important member. We're happy to have you here, buddy. I'm happy to be here. To Thok. To Thok. To Thok. Irina puts, like, a soft hand on your shoulder. How about that food? <laughs> They're like little hand, Always like ready finger or dwarves and Always shit. Always ready. Food. Picks up a pig in the blank. What is this? I don't know, but it's delicious. It's delicious. Is that <laughs> mustard? It's so good. I don't know um, about you. I'm going to the hamburger helper station. <laughs> there is a hamburger helper station. As you guys kind of think of like, man, I could really use like my mom's, you know, soup that she used to make me. And it's exactly what, you know, what you're longing for. Kind of like a last meal. Hey, I've been thinking. If this is our last night... You want to fight and find out who's strongest? Yes! No. <laughs> oh. Can you stop? It's me. We've been training with these people, these groups, for the past month. And they're not... We haven't been with them as long as we've been together. But they're our family now. And if we're going to defeat Strahd... They should be here. This is a party celebrating all of us. Whether it be celebrating our lives or celebrating our deaths. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. 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 You're right. Will everyone yeah. fit in here? And as you guys are talking, you see the walls start to stretch out. And you see on each corner, like, wall, you see doorways opening, so, and they kind of open. Why do I even question things uh, You know what? Steve knows. He does. Steve is too fucking powerful, man. He's my new best friend. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only in your head, and you feel like a very soft hug in your heart. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, I know. Um, no, I get him. So, slowly but surely, they just come in. People start, like, wandering, and they're like, the fuck is this? And, you know, you see your berserkers and your werewolves. War war <laughs> werewolves <laughs> is marked. You see, you know, um, the were-ravens. Everyone just slowly kind of trickling in and the room adjusting to the size of the people and whatnot. And it's just, it's, 
and it's not like loud like it's just like a hushed kind of not hushed but like normal volume conversation berserkers aren't like and you know werewolves and you slowly but surely you start seeing like the intermingling you start seeing like berserkers talking to dusk elves about like you know different pelts that they've they've taken and the the lichens kind of talking to the were ravens about their lycanthropy and you just start seeing this meshing slowly starting to happen this unity and you know Irina is sitting with his mark and you you've grown accustomed to this at this point that it's she's honestly spent more time with his mark than she has spent with spent with you she's missed him for you know eight months of her brother and you know she's you see kind of like tears running down her face and she's talking and you know he's grimly smiling and you have an idea of what their conversation might be about i'll turn to look at absidy man is mark got buff yeah he got shredded he's, he's on pretty ripped it's kind of impressive and i'll look at the group and kind of just be like if we if we succeed this is what Barovia can be. These people don't have to live in fear of one another. They can become a town of people that hate each other for different reasons other than being werewolves and dusk elves. It's up to us, guys. It's no longer just beating Strahd to get out of here. It's beating Strahd to get them out of here. It's almost what it seems like. It's not just saving your brother, it's saving everyone. It's saving Barovia. Bringing the sun back. Bringing the fucking sun back. I'm gonna reach over and put my hand on Shart's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not the best leader. I didn't ask to be. It just kind of happened. Yeah, I know. I need you to do the best you can do tomorrow and I need you to get the fuck up and take Shard and take Straw down with us. It's the plan, man. And I'm going to give him my inspiration. Okay. That button that I always hit on accident? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have it now. It's a what? A D six or a D six of radiation. I don't know what the, the fuck it, energy was. was though. It D6 I think it was a D eight. Oh, uh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Or, well, did I make did, it a D six or a D eight for I the I think you said a D six on camera. You said I a D six so on camera. Well. Okay. Because it's, it's fuck energy. It's D6 on a D20 roll. Like, yeah. it's not raging. So, like, an attack uh, or a save, got you it. can use that. So, I... I, I just one time, though. Mm -hmm. So... You uh, can choose it after you roll, though. Yeah. yeah, if you, so, yeah I can, so, if you roll, like, a six, and it's a 14 or whatever it is with your modifier, and you're like, I'm going to use an inspiration, and you roll a D6 and add it to gotcha. whatever. But it's one time. Okay. One time. One time. Um, just because... Uh, now when we were talking about bringing the sun back and everything, and knowing like how gloomy, obviously this whole entire realm is pretty much, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just start using thaumaturgy mm -hmm. to make the sconces brighter, not yeah. harsh bright, but just livelier, not so yeah. like, the, like not so no dreary. intimate. It's more, you it, know, it's a good it's, feeling. Yeah, it's a good light. Look. Yes. Warm. 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 Warm, warm. Yeah. warm as opposed good, to dim. Term. Okay. Um, and you see this light kind of come up, and I'm just like, it's it's pleasant. Rufio's going to go after this interaction, and everybody kind of disperses and does their own thing. He's going to kind of go to a table that's a, secluded and pull out a note mm -hmm. and just sit there and read okay. it. Okay. Before you walked away, though, I just... Smack me on the ass. No, thank oh, you. It was a cup. <laughs> Just thank you, and then down my beer. Gotta do the best I can for us, man. And then you walk off. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I still have everything that Lucifer's said in my head mm -hmm. about focusing on myself. And I'm torn. Um... And I, I see Irina talking to her brother. Mm -hmm. And I know we have the dance planned, but I'm letting her take the time with her brother. Okay. So I'll just, just kind of hang out. Okay. Meander and kind of small talk. 
Yeah, the mosey people. around. Okay. Maybe see a Valian at some point. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with your note? It's the, uh, it's the note from the hag that she put. Uh, okay. And Rufio is stewing, still feeling guilty and yeah, like it was his fault. So he's looking at it more for himself inspiration to build him up and to give him more more purpose mm -hmm. already than what he already has he wants to avenge this kid yeah okay um so after uh, uh i would say maybe an hour and a half irena kind of approaches you and she's in this very nice white kind of like the sundress that she's been wearing for a while and uh she goes so i was hoping for something a little more intimate than this. Me too. And Come back to the room. Okay. So, as you go back, um, she's you're kind of leading her back up to the room, and um, inside it's it's been the same, but you see like the furniture's kind of have been moved. Steve has ears everywhere, and there's you know a little you don't know where the music is coming from, but you hear this very nice delicate piece on violins and flutes. And um, you kind of close your eyes, and she closes her eyes, and you kind of come up to her thigh, um, and she goes, you kind of just swaying together as she rubs her, runs her fingers through your hair, and she goes, I just, I just wish for one night to know what it feels like to rest my head on your shoulder. And as she says that, you kind of feel your body kind of perk up a little bit and you feel her body go down a little as you become level and you feel her hair on your cheek and her cheekbone and jawbone on her shoulder as you both have your eyes closed and you hear this music and swaying and she's able to put her arms around your shoulders and you are able to put around her hips and you just sway there what seems like hours and when you open your eyes your hand, you're still wrapped around her her thigh, and she has tears in her eyes and her hands behind your head. Is this while they're dancing? Mm hmm. They're dancing in the their room. Oh, in their room. Yeah. I wish I had more to say, but we'll make it through this. It's, we have to. I, I could I can't have come all this way met you for nothing. She kinda of sits at the edge of the bed. I'm going with these mark to the castle. To You're going to the castle? He killed my father. Then let us kill him. Can't I can't stand by. I've been by for four months, six months, please. You have to understand. And you see these just these hard tears are across her eyes. I have already told Ismark, and he has tried. Oh, he's tried for a month. So not get me to go. And I pull away a little bit. Mm. I'm sorry, I thought you would understand. I do understand. And that's my problem. Is that I know that nothing I say will stop you. And I don't want you to go. I... And I, I touch just a quick graze or mm -hmm. like a nice little warming touch. Mm -hmm. And then I, I walk out. And she kind of stifles a little cry as the, the doors close. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of end the night there. We'll move on to the next couple of days. We'll just prepping. Things have been a little bit tense between you and Irina. You guys haven't really been speaking much to each other. Um, everyone's been focusing on their task at hand. And it comes to the morning of the last morning and you're all in the war room with war room steve and he's like all right 
everyone's at the rendezvous point. They have the tarp up. I teleport you into the tarp. And then, oh boy, we move on there. Oh, I almost forgot. Then he pulls out this suitcase and you see five of these. Basically, he's modeled them after the original Were-Raven armbands that you all wore. And they're kind of onyx and silvered. You put those on, and you'll be able to communicate with each other. You do have to talk to send the message, but you'll be able to hear it in your mind balls. Mind balls. Yeah, your brain. Yeah, got it's it. Negative two. And then I just zero. want to test it out. So I'm going to put mine on, and I'm going to run outside. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna, who are you going to send it to? You can send it to the whole group, I'm just going to send it to the whole group and be like, but the door is still going to be open, so I'm just going to be shouting, Hey guys, does it work? And you just, <laughs> like, it's like a mic feedback. feedback. Shark, Shark, stop fuck. yelling. Close this is the, the door. volume of my voice. <laughs> Thought you guys just knew that's how to talk. Yes, it works. <laughs> and you hear in your head, thought going, yes, it works. Oh, whoa. <laughs> You know the door's open, right? I got excited. All right, my dudes. We're ready to do this. I'm going to walk up to War Room Steve and give him a hug. Ah, and War Room Steve is just Wizard Steve with a fucking dumb hat on. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, thank you for <laughs> everything you've done. You thanking me? When you guys are finished with this, back to here, we're going to have a fucking rage, you dudes. This is going to be a, a busy town after Oh, that. it's going to be huge. Oh, we're getting everyone here. Everyone's like, so many people have signed leases. I was going to say. I've locked them in. We come back. Might need a summer home, so tell Lisa and Steve to get the paperwork ready. I'm gonna. He's going to put a hand on you. For you, shot. You don't have to sign a lease, buddy. Timeshare. <laughs> <laughs> you have to share it with them, but yeah, you got it. Like, if you are, you gotta make sure your days don't line up unless you guys wanna be on like a top of each other. But yeah, we'll riot it out. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do pyramid scheme, uh, Steve. Uh, so, as you all kind of last note, he's like, if you have not teleported before, except for that one time and you all threw up, please ready yourselves. On the count of three. Three. And oh, as you do that, everyone make a con save. Uh, Even though I held my nose. Oh, God. Fuck. Lucky. Uh, there's no way that we're going. Is it raining? Is it blowing? What'd you guys get? Ten. Okay. Ten. Eight. Nineteen. Okay. And you guys all kind of teleport into this very wide, ornate kind of tent. It's, uh... A little bit wider than this entire, like, floor. And um, you see in the corner, everyone's kind of been prepared. And the three of you, Absidy, you're fine. You kind of, like, throw the bile back. You guys immediately, as this bile comes up. And Wizard Steve goes, they ain't too used to time travel. Uh, or teleportation. Time travel's a different thing. It's complicated. I've done it before, though. Wait, I, I forgot my shoes. I don't want to go back. Don't make me go back. <laughs> Wait, you need your shoes? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. You dudes, I'll be keeping an oil on you. And you let me know when to drop, do the drop off. Do, um... Wait. Do you have one of these necklaces, too, so that way we can send something to you? No. He can see us. Oh, that's right. He's watching us. Look at your heart. Ooh, and for some reason, your chest glows very faintly. And you're like, please don't do that again. <laughs> so, yeah. Who, who's all in the tent? So it is... Everyone or just those two? No, it's... So it's your group, and then it's Dirt, uh, Visaya, Gray, Casimir, and it's... Uh, what's his... Uh, Irwin. 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 So, and Esmeralda. So it's your initial team yeah. that you sent out for the month. You mentioned teleporting the mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, the other groups. Yeah. So I didn't know how, what that meant for Shart and Absidy. They're you, not teleporting you, yet. You went with it. You're gonna you're gonna meet them on the roof. Oh, we're gonna physically yeah. go up there. He's gonna teleport all of you guys on the roof, so you'll be able to. You don't have to okay. worry about More it. More Steve's gonna do it. I figured <laughs> you all would want to kind of talk with everyone. Yeah. So, yeah. where's the Steve's gonna be like? It's about. He takes out his Reptar watch, taps it. Uh, it's about two p.m. Then he's at seven sharp. How far out are we from the castle? And he kind of like, Casimir's like, all right, just touch my stuff. And he kind of like <laughs> moves it. And there's like a plastic cellophane window you can look out. And it looks like it's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes out. Okay. 
so we got time that we can just all catch up with each other. Correct. And he goes, oh. All right. Take it easy, dudes. Unless Thanks. you die, then I don't see you again. It's been real. Thanks, Steve. Please, shot. Call me Wizard Steve. Thank you, Wizard Steve. He just pops. And Dirt is just beaming, and he kind of comes up, and he's like, Oh, wait, no hug. Um, what? What's going on, guys? I'm going to pick Dirt up. <laughs> <laughs> and you just give him a big old hug. hug and be like, Happy birthday, man! Uh, it was a while ago, but thank you! <laughs> and you've noticed Dirt's actually gotten maybe about three or four inches taller. He's got a little bit of a growth spurt within that time frame. Um, like I said, his head shaved. He's kind of have like this... He has a healed, broken nose. You can kind of see it's a little off-center, and there's this kind of, like, scar that goes over the crack. Um, but he has a little bit of a red eye from being punched, but he is wearing this his armor, and he's just he's just pumped to see everyone right now. So, how is everything with that? It was the longest month of my life. Oh, I still see you have your sh sunny disposition. Shut up, Dirt. <laughs> so oh, miss some, that. Something's never changed. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't bad. So, it's it's great to see you guys. Likewise. You've you grown. Too. Uh, it's a little bit. I've grown a little bit. I've been training really hard. Um, Gray kind of broke my nose once. Um, you break his back? It's, uh, Gray's kind of like, he tried. But, kid's tough now. Like, I well, we've been wailing on him, like... Visaya, like everyone's gotten a turn to just pummel this kid into the ground. It's great. I mean, he's so resilient now. And he's and dirt. You seem oddly happy for someone who's just been beat up for a month. I've just, I've, I love you guys, but being with other people at the moment really took time to kind of find me. You know? Explains the whole head shaving thing you got going on. You know, Greg kept pulling my hair and then whapping me in the face, so I shaved it so we couldn't grab something. I like it. Adaptation. You gotta adapt. That's the lesson I was doing. <laughs> I'm smart. I'm a smart boy. And Visaya's like, <sighs> And then any more days do we have of this man? Not Oh, that's many. right. Like, five hours. And he's like, I love you too. It's always <laughs> been you, Visaya. Um, Esmeralda kind of approaches and she kind of goes up to you and she goes, he's been doing, he's been doing a good job. Well, he learned from the best. Gray's been here the whole time. Fair. <laughs> Fair. And Gray's like, oh, sexual tension. <laughs> Erwin's like, number one customer. So how is, how, how are all of you? How is my family? How is the ravens what what's what is the plan we we dinner is like five hours from now we give him the rundown of everything yeah you guys kind of hunker down you kind of break everything down and i think that'll be a good way to end it here because up next will be the storm on castle ravenloft with our dusk elves and with our berserkers i am very excited very oh excited. boy dope <laughs> i'm terrified <laughs> Well, yep, well, it's all coming to this. Shit's about to get real, guys. I need yep. a beer. <laughs> I, need oh, another one. I thought you had a beer, but this would be way too big. That's a four loco size. Oh, energy beer. I need energy, energy beer. Energy beer, get fucked up. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, tell us your favorite flavor of four loco. And if you've ever had it <laughs> no. with <Zero>? the caffeine. <laughs> I did once. It was gross. Oh I my god, once. I wanted to die. We yeah. had it our freshman, allegedly our freshman year. I allegedly. rolled in that one on my con save. <laughs> Same. <laughs> all right. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.